Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Mountain Maid Creations. I'm Jill and happy Monday. So it's a holiday or normally I would be at work right now. Um, so I wanted to hop on here and do some crafting with you guys on this Monday because it's my favorite thing to do. And I didn't get a chance to go come live with you guys yesterday. I'll always try to come live on Saturday or Sunday and it was just crazy. So um, anyway, today we're going to be making some earrings. We're going to be using wood blank earrings that came from Amazon and um, Hobby Lobby. We're going to be using some torch paste and a squeegee and I've got a little stir here to get the torch paste out. We're going to be wood burning some designs on this using some stencils that I have from Magnolia Design Co. So this is a cheetah print, and this one I probably won't color. Um, we're gonna watercolor on some of them, but this one probably not. Um, we might try, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I don't think that it's the right pattern for that, but um, we're gonna do some flowers and some sunflowers, or daisies. I think this is daisies, actually. So, if I can get them to fit. And this one I'm probably just gonna be using some of the designs on here because I don't think that the flowers will actually fit on the earring pieces that I have. So I just wanted to show you how I do it. And then we're gonna be using some acrylic paint with water to make a watercolor to um, paint these sunflowers or daisies, whatever you wanna call them, on these. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you are catching this on a replay, I would love it if you would Hashtag replay so it bumps the video up. If you're catching this live, let me know where you're watching from. And if you're catching this on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you don't know about my YouTube channel, it's Mountain Made Creations. So go hop on over there and I'm gonna share this out, this video out. So give me one second and we will get started. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, we're off today from my full-time job, so I took off and went to Hobby Lobby because I'm gonna be taking a painting class. It's just like a short little um, Facebook Live. They're gonna show you how to paint these abstract flowers, which is pretty cool. And um, I wanted to take that just to see. I've been dabbling with painting for a little bit, but I'm just not good at it. So I thought I would actually take this. It's only $15, I mean, you know, I went and bought the paint today that I didn't have. I've got tons of brushes. I got some canvases, so hopefully, if I can do it correctly, I will come live and show you guys. So who knows what it's gonna turn out like. Believe me, I am not an artist. I can't draw, I can't paint. Um, I have tried a few paintings that were not that great, but we're gonna keep trying because it's just very, very therapeutic. I love doing it. And if it doesn't turn out, it's not a big deal. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, so we're gonna get started on these. Now these wood blanks, I don't have anything on them. You don't wanna stain them or paint them or anything when you use the torch paste because it could have like some kind of chemical reaction. You do not want that. Um, torch paste is used by a strong heat gun is what makes this activate and work correctly. So I have a pretty powerful heat gun. It's a cheapie from, I think I got it from Northwest Heart, uh, Northern Tool, I think is where I got it from. It didn't cost that much, but it gets really, really hot because I needed one that was pretty hot to do my um, door rounds, door hangers, because I do larger projects on those, and so I needed a very strong heat gun. You can also activate the torch paste with a heat press if you would like. I have done that, and it worked, but I think that I like using the heat gun better just because there's nothing laying on top of it, um, you know, because you have to put something on top of it when you put your heat press down. And I think that that putting something on it, I don't know, I just didn't like the way it came out. So I'm sticking with the heat gun because that seems to work for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the torch paste on each piece. And I just have a silicone mat. I do have a piece of tile under it because my heat gun is really hot and it'll melt everything on the table if I don't have something on here that it won't melt. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down these daisy flowers fit better on the circles than anything else. So I'm gonna try to line up um, a flower that fits on here pretty good. 
and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then um, we're gonna watercolor it, so I think that's gonna be so neat. I actually did this before, and um, it turned out really cute. That actually fits on there pretty good. So I have the um, stencil right on top of that wood piece. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then I'm gonna try to find another flower that this one will fit on. And I did not fuzz this stencil just because um, it's been used a little bit. And I think it's okay not to um, fuzz it. It's not sticking tremendously bad to this. So I'm just trying to get it lined up on the flower as best I can. Like that other one was pretty perfect actually. So this one I hope will fit on it just as good as that other one. And you could even do like a half, a half of one on it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that's maybe come down just a tad. I'm gonna come down just a little bit more. Or actually I need to go up. No, I went too far. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I just have the, the stencils on the wood rounds right here, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the torch paste. And this is what it looks like, and it is a small container, but let me just tell you, I have done full-size door hangers, I've done earrings, I've done a lot with this torch paste, and this little can lasts forever, so just, Keep that in mind. I bought this at Icon Art. That's where I get my Icon Art stencil kit from, and all my stencils that I, the stencils that I make, um, that's where I bought this. I'm not sure who else sells it, um, but they do. So, all right. I'm not putting much on there. As you can see, it does not take much at all. That's why this little can will last a long ways. And I'm just going to put it on just like you would paint. I'm not really putting any pressure down much. I'm just spreading it out. And you can see it, you know, a little bit. And you, it doesn't take very much at all. So that one looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and start on this one. And, and I mean, this is really a fast, fun way to make some unique earrings. I love coming up with new, new things to do on earrings. I, I don't know what my deal is, but I'm just like obsessed with making earrings. They're just so much fun to make. And yeah, I do sell Park Lane jewelry, but um, these I just enjoy making. They're just a lot of fun and I like, I've had a lot of feedback on my YouTube channel of people that make earrings. So it's, if, if I can help somebody figure out a way to make earrings more fun or inspire somebody, I'm gonna keep doing it because that is, to me, that's what it's all about. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up and I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna put down all right, let me show you what this looks like. These are gonna be super cute, you guys. Super, super cute. And and when you resin over top of the watercolor, it's really pretty. So here's what it looks like before we burn it. Now I'm gonna sit these to the side and I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna see if I can get like a partial flower on it and see if it'll fit. I think, I think it will, but I wanna see, cause I haven't done that. Yes, that does fit. Okay, so let me find another one that sort, ooh, I don't know, I like that. Let's see if it'll fit on that. No, 
Let me try. Um, I'm just trying to find another one like that one to put it on, and I think this one down here is like that. Yes, I think that. Yes, I'm gonna go with that. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I just tried to find two that were similar and we're gonna put the torch paste on that. And this is so fun and so easy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on everything on that stencil, even though it's... Not everything I want on there, but we're gonna go with the way it looks. I think it's gonna be cute. I hope you guys are having a good week. Um, it's supposed to be 80 degrees here on Thursday. That's unheard of in, in um, February for us, but I'll take it all day long. I love warmer weather. I'm not a cold, I'm always cold it seems like so. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, I love that. And I'm going to put this stencil, I believe, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the water because I'm gonna do the other stencil on those. So these are reusable mesh stencils from Magnolia Design. I did not tell y'all that when I first started. But these are, you can reuse these over and over and over again. They have the sticky on the back and then the design on the front has mesh in between like a screen print sort of. So I'm just gonna put this in this tub of water back here just so that that um, doesn't dry in there. Let me see. You don't want your stencil to, um, you don't want that paint or the torch paste to dry on your stencil. So that's why I'm putting it in that tub of water. So here's what these look like. I think these are gonna be so cute. So I'm gonna set those to the side. And now I'm gonna see about this stencil here. And what we can do on this one. I'm not really sure because, let's just see. out of curiosity what that flower would look like on there it's like a half of a flower I think I'm gonna see what that looks like so I've got that in there on the corner now I'm gonna put one on here I think because I don't see or you know what, maybe, let's try this other flower. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's try this other flower, that might be better. I'm just trying to find two flowers that are similar that will fit on this, on this one. So we may just do this one. And then I will take this one and put it under, uh, where did I see that one? That was similar. I think this one. And I'm going to put it Alright, so you see where I have the little um, earring blanks, so I'm just going to go over them with the torch paste, just like I did the other ones. We're supposed to get some rain today, it's a little bit cloudy, but it's not snow, so I'm good with that.
And I'm just going over it with the torch paste. I'm not really putting any pressure down. I'm just kind of spreading the torch paste around. All right. Now we can pull this up and see what we have. And I'll put this stencil in the water as well. And I'll rinse these out once I get done on the live. So let me show you what we have. Let me wipe the edge of that off a little bit. So here's what we have so far on these. Y'all wouldn't believe the cute little items I found at Target today. Oh my goodness. So those, that's those. Now on these two, I think what I'm going to do is the little cheetah print. And it's just going to be, um, I'm not going to paint that. It's just going to be burned in there. So these should be fairly easy to do because there's really no lining up to do. It's just cheetah print. And I'll put these in here too. I think these will be cute. You could put some color on there if you wanted to. It's really just a personal preference. All right, so there's those. And I'm just gonna go over them with the torch paste. So that's all I'm putting on there. Hey everybody, how's everyone doing? Those are my birds out there carrying on. I've got some cute ideas. They had, I don't know, I just love any kind of wildlife animal. And so they had some really cute wooden rabbits. And I was all over those at Target. I was really surprised that they had them um, at Target. see and these stencils are magnolia design stencils and I can put the link in the comments once I get done um, for that they have really nice reusable stencils that's where I get on my chalk paste um, a lot of my stencils that I don't make pretty much come from magnolia this is not sticking that great, so hopefully it'll turn out. But once these start wood burning it, it goes pretty fast. It's really neat. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Right, let me put this in the water. Okay. Let me wipe the edge of this off. That's good. Anything with that torch paste is gonna burn when the heat hits it. So if you've got that somewhere you don't want it, um, might want to get it off of there because it'll definitely um, burn it into the wood. All right, so here is the cheetah print. So these are going to be wood burned cheetah prints. So that's super cool. And you could paint something around them. Like you could paint like a tan or so. I don't know. You could paint, you could just come up with anything and paint it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
some painter's tape on the back and stick them to this tile because the um, heat gun will move them and I don't want them to move when I'm using the heat on them. And hopefully it's not gonna take very long to do these with the heat gun, it usually doesn't. And I put this tile down because my heat gun gets really, really, really hot and I don't want it melting all of my um, stuff underneath here because it will, it's super hot. But that's, you need a, a heat gun that's, that puts out a lot of heat because that's what it takes to make the um, torch paste work. So I'm just taking some painter's tape and sticking it to the back so that it won't move around when I'm, when I'm uh, using the heat gun. And once, the, once it starts going, it goes pretty fast. I know the, first, the very first time I used torch paste on a wood round, it took a really long time, but I did not realize you're supposed to hold the heat gun close to the surface that you're um, heating, and I didn't know that, so I had it way up here and it took forever. So I'm just taping these down, again with um, painter's tape. These are gonna be super cute. And then once the paint, once I paint them and I get them the way I want them, I'll go over them with resin before I finish them up. So I'm not gonna do the resin today because it's it would take way too long. But um, I will come live and show you once I do resin them. Because the resin just makes the paint pop on there. It's really, really, Cool. And I didn't think I could do this watercolor. And they were like, yes, you can do it, you can do it, it's easy, and you, it is really easy. Like, if you don't paint, that's fine. It doesn't matter, because it's still gonna work for you. All right, so I'm just pushing these down so they don't move. And then we're gonna just heat them up, and it should not take long at all to do. So here is my heat gun. It's just a cheapy Ironton, Ironton? cheap um, heat gun, but it heats up to, uh, it's a 1500 watt, and that's what you need to use with the chalk, uh, torch paste. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the first ones that I did. And you hold it really close to your wood, but you want to keep it moving because if you just hold it in one spot, it will um, it'll burn that one spot. So you want to kind of constantly keep moving it. And you'll see it start turning. But you see I'm holding it really, really close to the, the earring because you want to get it as close as you can. And see it's starting to burn already. I don't know if you can see it. And I usually go back and forth just so one doesn't burn. We're just going back and forth. And I'm constantly moving the heat gun around. I don't just hold it one spot because I don't want it to. Yeah, you see how fast that it does? So, super cool. I hope you guys can see it. Good. You see how that turned on there. So, yeah, it goes really fast. And it's up to you how dark you want it. You don't have to keep it going until it gets really dark, but I usually do. But you want to constantly move it so it doesn't burn your ear or your um, wood piece, whatever you're burning on. And you can go over these with stain or paint or whatever you want to do once you get them done. Love using this 
trying to start with the ones I did first and then work my way around them that way. Yeah, see I had some on the edge of that one so it's burning the edge. So any place you don't want burn, remove that torch face. See, this one is a little bit burned on there. That's what I don't want. It's making my eyes water. I'll show you how it kind of burns the wood. And it may be because it's a thinner piece. I'm not really sure. But once it starts going, it gets going pretty good. But like I said, this heat gun is really hot. So you want to be really careful. And I'm going to put this heat gun on the concrete floor when I get done. That way it doesn't burn my rug. Because that silver thing is going to be extremely hot. Okay. Alright, so that looks so cute. All right, you guys, so let me, this tile is hot, hot. So here's what we have so far. So now what I'll do is go over them with a paper towel just to wipe off any charred part. Now this one got a little bit brown. I'm not really sure why. This one got a little bit brown, like it burned it some. So I'm not sure what that was all about but this one I won't be able to we can paint like maybe some yellow around there we'll see what it looks like but I'm gonna go ahead and just brush off any of the chard and then we'll start painting and then we'll be done it doesn't take well that one So now what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, excuse me, that made my nose run. I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do these two yellow. So I'm going to take a little tray and put some yellow paint in there. You don't need much paint at all. And then I'll spray some water in it. So it's just this much not much at all and then I'm just gonna squirt a little bit of water in there and I'm just gonna take a little paintbrush like this and I'm just gonna stir that up and you can add water to make it you know a less bright or however you want the color to look I'm good with what that looks like so I'm just gonna start painting the um, the petals with this paint and it's so easy you guys if I can do it anybody can do it and it turns out so cute I probably should have brought my glasses down here but I did not and I'm just gonna go back over those so I'm just painting the petals inside the lines with the um, watercolor. So easy, you guys, so easy. And when you put the resin over top of this, it really makes those colors pop. And you don't have to use yellow. You can paint these any color that you want. And I may go over the inside with some brown.
All right, so there's that one. See how easy that was, you guys? So, so easy, and it's so much fun. All right, so I'm just gonna do the other one. Same way, and I just left the tape on the back of these just to hold it down while I paint them. But it looks so good. So I'm telling you, if you can't paint, you can do this, trust me, because I am no good at it. But I can do this, so I know that you can do it. And it's so much fun when you get done, and you look at you like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. So it's just a lot of fun to do, just to have something different. And sunflowers, I love sunflowers, or any kind of flower. I'm so ready for spring. This weather we've been having has really given me spring fever. So that one's done. I mean, do you see how fast and easy that is? Now, I probably will go over the inside with some brown once we get done. So this one here, I'm probably going to, maybe let's do orange on that one and see what that looks like. Let me rinse my brush out. So let's try some orange just to see, or we could do pink, but we'll go with orange since that's what I have up here and see it doesn't take much paint at all that's all I'm doing and then I'm just spritzing a little bit of water in there and then just stirring it up to make a watercolor and this is just acrylic paint this is apple bar apple barrel and I use bright yellow and harvest orange and it's apple barrel so now I'm just gonna go in the petals on this one and we can paint the petals that are like halfway on also that will be really cute and that's a green leaf so I may get some green out it's just something so easy and the color just makes it pop it's really fun this is one of my favorite things to do, and I love doing the wood burn on the wood rounds. I don't know, I, I, just, I just love the look of it. All right, so that's done. Now, let me grab some green, and we can do um, the little leaf, and then we'll get the brown. So let me grab my paint. So, some green. Okay, there we are. Sorry, guys. We um, I had a phone call. That was weird. Okay, so let me find brown and let me see. It looks like there we go. <laughs> Everything changed when it went off. That's so crazy. All right, so now let's do, this is, no, that's black. That's black. Does anybody else have a ton of paint like I do? It's crazy. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing, but with the brown and then the green. We'll do the insides of the flowers with brown. This is Burnt or Umber by Apple Barrel. And then we'll do some Apple Barrel Arbor Green for the leaves. All right, get some water on there. And I always keep a jar of water when I'm painting. That way I can rinse and 
move on. So we're going to mix the brown just the way we did with the other colors. These little trays came from Magnolia and they're super handy. And you get a ton of them and they're pretty cheap. All right, so now I'm just going to go in the on the um, inside of this. That may have been a little bit dark, but that's okay. I think this is going to be super cute. Yeah, when it starts drying, you can see the ends, the inside. So I'm going to do the same on this. I'm just going to give it a little bit of brown right there, the base. And then we'll do the green, and then we'll be done. I don't think I'm going to paint any of those because those are kind of charred looking. Like this one's a different color, so I don't know what's going on with that one. So now we'll do the green because we have a little green leaf on both of these. Here's that. That is done, you guys. So let me hold these up so you can see. So there's the orange and then there's the yellow. Now I'm telling you, when we put the resin on those, it's really going to make them pop. So you can go over them with stain once you do the, once you do the wood burn, you can then go over it with stain. I've done that before. These, I'm not sure you see that these have these two are two different colors. One of them got really brown for some reason, and then that one looks a little bit charred. I'm gonna wipe it with a baby wipe just to see what that does. Well, that actually cleaned it up a bit. I don't think it's gonna help this one that's got a different color. I don't know what caused that. Okay, so that's what we have today, guys. So cute. I can't wait to put resin on these and show them to you because it really, really changes the whole look of them. So um, I will let these dry some and I'm going to show you if you want to stick around and see my Target and um, Hobby Lobby haul. That would be awesome. So let me move this because um, I couldn't believe what what Target had um, in their, they call it the dollar spot, and it's like five, three, five and three dollars. I don't know if there's anything that's actually a dollar, but they had these really, really cute, it's called Paint Your Own Wood Bunny Kit. Now, I'm going to give one of these to my niece, or maybe we'll do them together on a live. She loves crafting. So I knew she would like this, but I got two of them. And one of them, what I had an idea for, is if you know me at all and you're following me, you know that I have a photography page and I take tons and tons of pictures, mainly of my birds because I'm obsessed with them because I just used to be my dogs. And I lost both dogs last year, so now I have 20 guinea fowl and I just follow them around and take pictures. I'm telling you, they have like their own little personalities and sometimes it even looks like they're smiling. So what, since I take so many pictures, the reason I was telling you that is I like to be able to find a way to display them. And so I thought this would be the perfect way. So it comes with three bunnies. It comes with these three wooden bunnies and they're pretty thick. And it comes with paint, which I'm not, I probably won't, I'll give this to my niece, but it comes with paint. She loves to paint, so it's got the brushes and the paint in there, so I'm probably going to give that to her. And um, what you can do is, I have so many ideas coming home, but we can paint these and then stencil a design on them. We can decoupage a cute napkin on them or any kind of, of cute little design. But then what I wanted to do was take one of those little, I don't think I have one here, but the little bitty tiny paper, um, 
they are clothespins, the tiny, tiny clothespins, and glue one on the back to where you just push it and you could slip a photo in there and it would be a photo holder. How cute would that be, you guys? So that's what I'm gonna do with these three. And um, this set is going to my niece, Nevaeh. But that's what I wanna do with these three, is put a design on there, put little um, clips on the back and hold a picture. I thought that would be really cute since they're, you know, they sit because they're so thick. So that was, um, I think that was $5 at Target. I'm pretty sure they were $5. Everything I got, I think was $5. So that's one thing they had. I couldn't believe I found that button. And then, oh my gosh, y'all look at this. How adorable is that? This little bunny, and it's such a nice finish on there. It's really, really nice. It's like this thick, so adorable. So I'm gonna be painting something on there, putting a, probably put a bow right here. Uh, I don't think it will stand up on its own. We may make a little sign. I may hang this on my office door at work. I don't know yet, but I got two of them. They, these were $5 at the um, Target. So I got two of those. So anytime you go to Target, if you're a crafter, check that dollar spot. Then they have this cheese board set, which was from Valentine's Day. And this was $5, but it was half off. So it was $2.50. So I was like, oh, I can definitely do that. But bonus, there's a heart at the top. How cute is that? So I was thinking about putting some kind, maybe decoupaging a um, placemat and putting some flowers out there or putting, decorating it for like Easter. I'm not sure what we'll decorate it with, but we'll definitely do something with that. So I thought those were really cute, um, cheap, inexpensive items. And let's see what, oh yeah, they have these door rounds, which I was really shocked that they were only $5, but these are nice door rounds. Um, it's a 12 inch, and I mean, it's pretty nice. It's got like the little lip on there but it's really a good quality wood for five bucks. I was like, yeah, I can definitely make something with this. So yeah, cause I'm always trying to do different sizes. Like when I do my craft shows, I always like to have a variety of items plus a variety of price range items also. And some of the, the bigger door rounds, um, they can get pricey, but these, you know, are, it was, I was like really impressed when I found that. So Hobby Lobby. I don't know if um, you, if you're a crafter or if you sew or whatever, I always go to the back where the fabric is and look at their, they have like a clearance section and they have fabric that people have, I guess they ordered some cut off a bolt and then they didn't buy it or they brought it back for whatever reason, but they mark this stuff way down. Sometimes they have ribbon, sometimes they have fabric, but I found this fabric and this is a fabric remnant. It is, it was only $7.49. And it, it is, let's see, 56 inches wide and 5 eighths length. I'll take it out and let you see it, but that's what I paid for it. And it's got sunflowers on it. That's why I bought it. I was like, oh, I have to have that. So let's unravel it and look. Cause I thought on the way home, since Hobby Lobby is about a 45 minute drive. So on the way home, I was thinking of what all I could do with these bunnies that I've got. So, and I thought maybe decoupaging some fabric on one of them might be cute because this is really good fabric. And it's got sunflowers. I guess they're sunflowers, but I mean, it's a big piece of, it's almost, it's, it's almost as tall as I am. I'm only 5'3", so that's a pretty good piece of fabric. Um, I don't know if I could, I guess decoupage would work with that because it's pretty thick, but I was thinking about putting that on these bunnies and they had these bunnies for, um, how cute is that y'all? Oh my goodness. So it's really thin wood, really thin. It's better than that thin stuff at the Dollar Tree though. It's much more sturdy than that but it was $3.49, then it was 40% off. So I'll take this off. And I was thinking about maybe making the, cutting out the bunny on this fabric here. I'm not sure what that would look like, but I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. And then you could have it up all year. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Easter. It can be just like a summertime rabbit. That was just a thought I had. Um, 
They also have these bunnies that you can paint or do whatever. How cute are these? You could also make these a photo holder as well um, because these are thick enough to stand on their own shelf sitters. So I can't wait to decorate these with some fun. I don't know whether I'll stencil a pattern on here or I'm, I'm still deciding, but whatever I do, I'll definitely come live and do it with you guys. But I, the one thing I had on my list was cow print ribbon and wooden bunnies. So yeah, I was very happy with my Hobby Lobby haul. And I did find the cow print ribbon. Now, this was not with the ribbon, the normal ribbon, but this was over with the spring stuff, so it was 40% off. Um, I don't know why the cow print would be spring, but I was so excited to find it. So it was $7.99, but it was 40% off of that because I have the cow heads that I paint that I wanted some cow ribbon because I have some more cow heads I wanna do for some craft shows, and now I found this. Now I just need to get brown. This was, they didn't have brown, they just only had black, so I accidentally found that. Um, I also went over there and found in the, it's over in the fabric section where the ribbon is, but they had these little yellow, like little balls on there. This was $1.99, but it was on sale also. And then they had this like rhinestone ribbon. I'm always looking for something to jazz up some stuff. So I just picked that up. It was $2.99 and it was 40% off too. I believe it was 40% off. And then the um, remnant, I was over there in the fabric because I make bows sometimes with fabric. Um, you can make accents and whatnot with different colors or different styles of fabric. So I wanted to, this was 24 cents. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get that. I don't even know what, I think that the pattern is just yellow lines. If I can get it open, I'll show it to you. I don't think they wanted me to get in it but I'm always over there looking at that because they they have ribbons over there on sale like clearance markdown and I guess these are just leftover stuff they have but I can use this to make flowers or ribbons so that's kind of cute I mean it was only 24 cents and it's pretty long and I know it's just a scrap of ribbon but I don't have any yellow so I'm thinking spring you guys then they had this which is, um, I guess somebody ordered it and didn't pick it up. I don't know, but it was only for 17 and it's a good bit of it. This is good for little bows too. And it's like the denim and white. How pretty is that y'all? Uh, I'm like, yeah, I mean, this would be really, really pretty on, um, like on the rabbit as a little bow, like a messy bow. I mean, it's just going to be really cute. So I got that. And then they have this remnant, which is like the blue and the, it's just like blue and white. Kind of, it kind of reminded me of the ticking a little bit. It's not what it is, but it, it kind of reminded me of that. And I love that stuff. So um, I know I can use this with bows and whatnot. This was only two dollars and 33 cents and it's a pretty good piece of fabric and it's good quality fabric so it's it's this big so I can um, use this for a lot of projects because it is sort of spring but it is could be an all year around thing also and this was definitely springy um, this fabric here so it was only two dollars and 83 cents so i mean this definitely will be used in a bow at some point and then they had um some more bunnies that i want to use to make a picture holder they had these cute little bunnies they were, they were 3.99 and they were 40 percent off so i'm going to definitely fix these and then put the paper um clothespin on the back to hold a photo I think that would be super cute. So that is my haul from them. Um, I'm so excited. I found lots of bunnies today because that's one of the main things I was going for was cow ribbon and the bunnies. So 
It was a good day at Hobby Lobby. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like the earrings, and I hope you'll try it. And if you do, let me know how it turns out. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. I don't know what this... Oh, yeah. this They have these bunnies at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know. I think I'm going to let my niece paint them somehow. But they have, the, like, the little wooden bunnies, and then they had just the heads. So I'll probably let her paint those up somehow. But that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you will um, follow me, Mountain Made Creations, or go and subscribe to my Mountain Made Creations channel over on YouTube. It helps me grow. And um, if you like jewelry, come and join my group, um, Parkland Jewelry with Jill. I also sell Parkland Jewelry, which is amazing. Um, good quality jewelry. So anyway, guys, I hope that you have a great day. I hope you have a wonderful week. It's going to be warm. Um, 80 degrees on Thursday in February is weird warm, but I'll take it all day long. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.